to our beloved instructor and the Dean of the College of Teacher Education of Holy Trinity College of Camarinesur, Incorporated, Dr. Mercy Samaniego Bu, to my dear classmates, both in fourth year BS at English and Mathematics, and to all the students who may watch this video lesson, a blessed day to all of you. This is your future teacher, Cheryl, your reporter for today. Before we proceed to the learning episode 1 of our course that is entitled Professional Education 12 Participation and Teaching Assistantship, I am humbly asking for a moment to pray. Let us bow our head and feel the presence of our Lord. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we are here before you to give you thanks for all the blessings you have given to us and also for not giving us everything with us from you because we know that you have perfect reason behind it and better plans for us. Thank you for giving us strength and wisdom that we truly needed each day. Lord, may you forgive us for all the sins we've done in the past to our loved ones and other people. We are asking for your forgiveness and a renewed heart and mind so that we would no longer do the same mistakes again. Loving God, we can't control everything that may happen, but we surrender our lives and our future to you. Please provide us what we truly needed and let the Holy Spirit guide us and guard us against any harm and temptation. We glorify your name on high. This is our prayer in the mighty name of Jesus, our King and Savior. Amen. According to President Clinton, on September 1996, every child needs and deserves dedicated Outstanding teachers who know their subject matter are effectively trained and know how to teach to high standards and to make learning come alive for students. In our reference book, it says that to have a meaningful and successful accomplishment in this field study episode, be sure to read through the whole episode before participating and assisting in your FS2 resource teachers class. Note all the information you will need and tasks you will need before working on this episode. At the end of this learning episode, I must be able to cite the personal qualities of an effective teacher and state the professional competencies expected of a teacher. Before you embark on your one semester journey and observation and teaching assistantship, it may be good to be reminded of the personal and professional qualities which we teachers ought to possess. Striving to be the best teacher, the teacher who will leave an imprint of himself or herself on his or her students is a never-ending journey. The journey began three years ago when you started who the professional teacher is in your course on the teaching profession, etc. The journey gets more focused and challenging now as you observe and assist your field study resource teacher. Don't you worry, you have been prepared for this for three years and you will end up stronger happier, and wiser. For your references, please do look for a copy of these listed documents that you may find in the reference page of this video. You may download the files and print it so that you will have the information that you really needed in your teaching profession. There are also two videos entitled, What Makes a Good Teacher Great by Azul Terones and The Power of a Teacher by Dr. Adam Sainz. YouTube links that you should watch which are very significant in this lesson. There are four career stages 
you will go through as a teacher. Beginning, proficient, highly proficient, and distinguished. It is built on the National Competency-Based Teacher Standards, or NCBTS. It comprises seven domains, 37 strengths, and 37 indicators for each career stage. Career Stage 1, The Beginning Teacher Teachers have gained the qualification recognized for entry into the teaching profession. They have a strong understanding of the subject or areas in which they are trained in terms of content knowledge and pedagogy. They possess the requisite knowledge, skills, and values that support the teaching and learning process. They manage learning programs and have strategies that promote learning based on the learning needs of their students. They seek advice from experienced colleagues to consolidate their teaching practice. Career Stage 2 The Proficient Teacher Teachers are professionally independent in the application of skills vital to the teaching and learning process. They provide focused teaching programs that meet curriculum and assessment requirements. They display skills in the planning, implementing, and managing learning programs. They actively engage in collaborative learning with the professional community and other stakeholders for mutual growth and advancement. They are reflective practitioners who are continually consolidate the knowledge, skills, and practices of Career Stage 1 teachers. Career Stage 3, the Highly Proficient Teacher Teachers consistently display a high level of performance in their teaching practice. They manifest an in-depth and sophisticated understanding of the teaching and learning process. They have high education-focused situation cognition, are more adept in solving problems, and optimize opportunities gained from experience. Career Stage 3 teachers work collaboratively with colleagues and provide them support and mentoring to enhance their learning and practice. They continually seek to develop their professional knowledge and practice by reflecting on their own needs and those of their colleagues and students. Career Stage 4, The Distinguished Teacher Teachers embody the highest standard for teaching grounded in global best practices. They exhibit an exceptional capacity to improve their own teaching practice and that of others. They are recognized as leaders in education, contributors to the profession, and initiators of collaborations and partnerships. They create a lifelong impact in the lives of colleagues, students, and others. They consistently seek professional advancement and relevance in pursuit of teaching quality and excellence. They exhibit a commitment to inspire the education community and stakeholders for the improvement of education provision in the Philippines. This is the explainer video for the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers. Please watch this. Teachers play a crucial role. Teachers play a crucial role in improving the quality of the teaching and learning process. Hence, enhancing teacher quality ranks foremost in the many educational reform efforts towards quality education. In August 2017, the Department of Education Secretary Leonor Riones signed into policy Department Order No. 42 stipulating the national adoption and implementation of the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers.
Our dear teachers in the Department of Education, I am very pleased, I am honored to introduce to you this explainer video on the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers, which you can utilize to help you further find out and develop better and more effective ways of teaching your various fields. It is said that the quality of an education system cannot exceed the quality of our teachers. And this is something which we in the department recognize, not only the department, but the rest of the country as well. And we hope that with this, we will further develop ways to make your learners be more creative, to be more analytical, and to prepare them for lifelong learning. Because after all, we know that learning does not stop with formal schooling. Learning is a lifetime experience and it is a lifetime journey. This was developed through years of rigorous uh, research and consultations which were conducted by the Research Center for Teacher Quality involving many of you teachers because you are also consulted. Of course, we want to hear the experiences of the best, the most effective teachers. And we'd also like to thank the Australian government for supporting the Philippine government in this very important work. Over three years, Thousands of teachers, school heads, supervisors, teacher educators, and stakeholders around the Philippines contributed to the development and validation of the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers. The Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers articulates teacher quality through well-defined domains, strands, and indicators. It is a public statement of professional accountability, helping teachers reflect on their own practice as they aspire for personal growth and engage in professional development. The Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers complements the reform initiatives on teacher quality, such as the K-12 reform, the Philippine Qualifications Framework, the ASEAN Integration and Internationalization, and the changing character of the 21st century learners. The standards defines what teachers are expected to know, be able to do, and value in their profession. From undergraduate preparation to leadership in the teaching profession. It supports teachers to know where they are in terms of practice, what is expected of them, and how they can improve to reach the next level. Beginning teachers are expected to demonstrate knowledge and understanding of teaching principles and strategies. Proficient teachers are expected to independently apply teaching principles and strategies. Highly proficient teachers are expected to consistently display a high level of performance in their teaching practice, mentor colleagues, and work collegially with other staff. Distinguished teachers are expected to embody the highest standard for teaching, grounded in global best practices, and lead colleagues in promoting quality teaching and learning. The Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers articulates distinctive areas of the teaching profession into seven domains. Domain 1. Content knowledge and pedagogy. Quality teachers know what to teach and how to teach it. Domain 2. Learning environment. Maintain a learning-focused environment. Domain 3. Diversity of learners. Respond to learner diversity. Domain 4. Curriculum and planning. Plan and design effective instruction. Domain 5. Assessment and Reporting. 
use a variety of assessment tools to inform and enhance the teaching and learning process. Domain 6, Community Linkages and Professional Engagement. Establish school community relationships and uphold professional ethics. Domain 7, Personal Growth and Professional Development. Engage in professional reflection and assume responsibility for personal and professional learning. In summary, the seven domains are Content, Knowledge, and Pedagogy Learning Environment Diversity of Learners Curriculum and Planning Assessment and Reporting Community Linkages and Professional Engagement Personal Growth and Professional Development These domains comprise 37 strands that refer to more specific dimensions of teacher practice. Each strand has indicators which describe concrete, observable, and measurable teacher practices per career stage. The Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers is internationally compliant, K-12 aligned, and Philippine contextualized. The Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers, based on Department Order 42, shall be used as a basis for all learning and development programs for teachers to ensure that teachers are properly equipped to effectively implement the K-12 program. All performance appraisals for teachers shall be based on the professional standards. The professional standards provides a common language for teachers, teacher educators, and other stakeholders to make sense of the various tools, performance management systems, and initiatives of the Department of Education. Over time, the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers will become the new yardstick for teacher professional learning, career development, appointment, retention, promotion, and rewards. The Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers captures the voice of the profession. The Philippine Professional Standard for Teachers for teachers who are committed to improving learners' outcomes. This explainer video was made possible through the leadership of the Department of Education, Teacher Education Council, in collaboration with the Philippine National Research Center for Teacher Quality. The project was supported by the Australian government through the Basic Education Sector Transformation Program. Learners, parents, and business. It also states how a professional teacher ought to act and behave as a person. What is the professional teacher? He or she is the licensed professional who possesses dignity and reputation with high moral values as well as technical and professional competence. She or he adheres to, observes, and practices a set of ethical and moral principles, standards, and values. These are the scopes that are included in the Code of Ethics for Professional Teachers. The preamble states that teachers are duly licensed professionals who possess dignity and reputation with high moral values as well as technical and professional competence. In the practice of their noble profession, they strictly adhere to, observe, and practice this set of ethical and moral principles 
standard and values. The articles included in the Code of Ethics for professional teachers are the scope and the limitations, the teacher and the state, the teacher and the community, the teacher and the profession, the teacher and the teaching community, the teacher and higher authorities in the Philippines, school officials, teachers and other personnel, the teacher and learners, the teacher and parents, the teacher and business, and the teacher as a person. The Southeast Asia Teachers Competency Framework, or the CTCF, is a set of skills, knowledge, behaviors, and attributes which the 11 ministries of education have agreed that teachers in their respected countries need to have. It consists of four essential competencies identified by key high officials from the 11 ministries of education as well as experts in teachers' education from the 11 countries. The Southeast Asia Teachers' Competency Framework is envisioned to be helpful guide in improving the performance of teachers across the region. As a frame of reference, the CTCF is a development tool to address the evolving demands of teaching profession. The competencies listed in the framework should be interpreted based on local context and specific need. Here are the four essential competencies. Number one is knowing and understanding what to teach is the ability of teachers to deepen and broaden their knowledge on what to teach, understand education trends, policies, and curricula, and be updated on local, national, regional, and global developments. Number two, helping students learn is the ability to know their students use the most effective teaching and learning strategy and assess and give feedback on how students learn. Number three, engaging the community is the ability to partner with parents and caregivers, involve the community to help students learn and encourage respect and diversity. Number four, becoming a better teacher every day is the ability to know oneself and others, practice human goodness, and then master the teaching practice. Let us discover what really a great teacher is. A great teacher loves to teach and loves to learn. A great teacher is chill. A great teacher thinks like an adult but acts as a kid. A great teacher notices when students struggle. A great teacher understands that students have a life outside school. A great teacher listens to students. A great teacher sings. A great teacher loves to teach and loves to learn. A great teacher has his own love of learning and inspires students with his passion for education and for the course material. He constantly renews himself as a professional on his quest to provide students with the highest quality of education possible. 
This teacher has no fear of learning new teaching strategies or incorporating new technologies into lessons and always seems to be the one who is willing to share what he learned with colleagues. A great teacher is chill. A great teacher is warm, accessible, enthusiastic, and caring. This person is approachable not only to students but to everyone on campus. This is the teacher to whom students know they can go with any problems or concerns or even to share a funny story. Great teachers possess good listening skills and take out time of their way to busy schedules for anyone who needs them. If this teacher is having a bad day, no one ever knows. The teacher leaves personal baggage outside the school doors. A great teacher thinks like an adult but acts as a kid. A great teacher understands that students are still in the process of experiencing life, discovering options, analyzing problems, and defining logic. That's what kids do, and they make mistakes and hopefully learn. If you want to be successful working with kids, you have to stop thinking like an adult all of the time and start acting like a kid. Remember what it was like when you were their age. Don't assume that your priorities are the same as theirs. Don't talk down to them but coach them up. Empathize, guide, mentor, and connect with them. Great teacher notices when students struggle. A great teacher can shift gears and is flexible when a lesson isn't working. This teacher assesses his teaching throughout the lessons and find new ways to present material to make sure that every student understands the key concept. According to Azul Terones, a great teacher wait and watch and rescue them when they stop. A great teacher understands that students have a life outside school. Science has found that students who have caring relationships with teachers are academically more successful and show greater pro-social behavior. A caring teacher can transform the school experience, especially for students who face enormous difficulties such as dropping out or dysfunctional home lives. One student who faced this kinds of hardship that the greatest thing a teacher can do is to care and to understand because if not, the kid will say, oh, they are giving up on me, so I might as well give up on myself. A great teacher listens to students. A great teacher respects students. In a great teacher's classroom, each person's ideas and opinions are valued. Students feel safe to express their feelings and learn to respect and listen to others. This teacher creates a welcoming learning environment for all students. Great teachers make themselves humble before their students. They take risks. They put aside their fear to try. They trust that they're going to be supported if they fail. A great teacher listens. There is no more noble profession than teaching. A great teacher is a great artist, but his or her medium is not canvas, but the human soul. Article 4, The Teacher and the Profession, Section 1 states that every teacher shall actively help ensure that teaching is the noblest profession and shall manifest genuine enthusiasm and pride in teacher as a noble calling. A teacher shall place premium upon self-respect and self-discipline as the principle of personal behavior in all relationships with others 
and all the situations. A teacher shall recognize that the interest and welfare of learners are his first and foremost concern and shall handle each learner justly and impartially. Power to shape the future by establishing life-changing relationships with their students. These are the remarkable and powerful words to ponder from the speaker of the power of the teacher, Dr. Adam Science. What if we hire teachers not to be deep understanders of content knowledge keepers, but deep understanders of students? How our schools would change and transform? But it's no wonder students don't care or that teachers don't really listen. We need to listen to our students. What would make a good teacher great? And then we actually listened. We could transform schools and education. This are from the speaker of the What Makes a Good Teacher Great, Mr. Azul Teranes. These are the references I've used in making this video lesson. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for this another opportunity of learning that we have shared for today. Thank you for your guidance and wisdom. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Thank you for listening and God bless you all.